I want to take a few minutes now to uh, set the tone of the uh, 10th Annual National Forum. I want to reflect a bit on where we've been and where we have yet to travel. In the same uh, week uh, recently, I received two quotes uh, in the mail. Uh, taken together, they summarize a lot about how I view the Institute. The first quote came from Joanne Lynn, who will be a primary speaker, a plenary speaker this afternoon. Joanne is probably the leading advocate in the United States for the improvement of care at the end of life. Uh, she chaired the Institute's Breakthrough Series Collaborative on that topic, and we're starting a new one if you'd like to join it. Uh, she's frankly one of my heroes. Joanne sent me a bookmark which said, sometimes you just have to take the leap and build your wings on the way down. I've tried to offer this to our board as our strategic plan. <laughs> it's going to take a while for them to swallow it. But that's exactly how it felt uh, to be at the table in the late 1980s with a founding group of the Institute. We proposed a psychotic mission. Uh, we said we were going to improve health care in the US and Canada, period. And then to confirm our psychosis two years later, we removed the North American restriction and we embraced what I hope and believe will be a global objective, better care on the planet. We'll do other planets later. <laughs> a few days after Joanne handed me that, on my birthday actually, my son, Ben, sent me an email from his college dorm with some other quotes, most of which I can't repeat. College humor, you know. I don't even understand most of them. But uh, one quote read, um, eagles may soar, but weasels don't get stuck into jet engines. <laughs> uh, that was the choice. Uh, eagles, jump, grow your wings, or a weasel, uh, hunker down and stay safe. Uh, we chose eagle. Uh, were we smart? We don't know yet. We made a good start. Uh, improvements, a lot of improvements, are now visible. But our wings are stubby, and the job seems overwhelming. We formed the Institute to close gaps, and those gaps remain. They are very, very big gaps. 